Welcome back, everyone. We have uh, completed quite a bit of work already, and I want to thank you all. So let's have some fun now that we've spent time working and following. I wanted to have you um, get a couple tools to be able to edit and customize. So let's take a look at this part for a second. Notice in the History Manager, there are these features. Well, of course, we've learned that we can edit features and we can um, create new features. So as an example, let's say that you were modeling this part and you weren't really interested in having the CWI logo on there. Well, here is that feature. It's called Extrude. And if I right click, I can simply say Delete. And so the CWI feature is, is gone. Notice that I have this CWI sketch. I can hide it, or if I wanted to, I could right click and I could delete it. So let's do that. Feel free or not, it's up to you. What I am going to do now, though, is I'm going to navigate back further up in my feature manager and right click on this top plane. And because we're going to be doing some more work, I want to see the planes again. So I'm going to say, show all planes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this front plane, which, by the way, if you look closely at my screen, you can see that front plane is right in the center of my part. Right? That was kind of part of the, or, or how I created that. So what I'm going to do is, is select this front plane and right click and say I want to create a new sketch. Got it. I'm here. And while I'm sketching, I'm going to sketch some other text on this uh, front plane. And I can use the text command. So I'll click that text command. And I'm, I'm going to draw a box. And I'll be honest, I don't know how big that box is. In fact, I'm going to draw mine probably larger than it should be. And I now am going to put in what is the text that I want to see in this carabiner. So I created this kind of fake name called Ralph. So I'll delete what's here and I'm going to use all capitals and I'll put in Ralph. All right, so I won't. I'll put my name in. And notice I'm putting some spaces between each letter. And I do that um, because it's going to add a little bit of clarity as it turns into a full extrusion. So I'm going to accept this. I'll hit my green check mark. And notice that that text is really large, right? It's way bigger than the part that's over here. I'd like to make it smaller. And I can. I'm going to use this dimension feature and make that text and box smaller. So I'm going to select this outside line, create a dimension, and when I do my values, something like 0.49, I'm going to change it to how about 0.2, and that's looking a little more reasonable, and I'll give that a shot. Okay, but it's not anywhere near where it needs to be to, sh to extrude through the carabiner. So I have some, some work to do here. I need to move it and I probably need to rotate it so that it aligns with the carabiner edge. So I'm going to select with a uh, like a left, well hang on, with a left to right window. So I hit spacebar and make sure I have nothing selected. Um, and then I click upper left drag my mouse and then let go and I've selected that whole box and I am now going to come up here and I'm going to choose the transform command sorry I think I misspoke a second ago when I said transfer I don't know maybe I said it maybe I didn't but up here, um, I have this drop-down arrow, right? four little boxes, and I'm going to click the, the drop-down arrow, and I'm going to choose this bottom option. 
called transform. It basically allows me to either move or rotate my the object that is selected. So that Rob box is selected. I click transform and I get two arrows and I get this little weird thing down here. So I'm going to move by clicking and dragging the upper arrow and then I'm going to slide my I'll call it X arrow to the left and then I'm going to click and drag this um, circle with two arcs around it and click it and I'm going to press enter and then click outside uh, outside of anything and I can see that my oops my Rob kind of uh, is sort of aligned, but not quite, and not quite in the right spot. So I'd like to do some detail work, so I'm going to click in the view cube right on this front face, so I'm looking straight on, and I'll have the ability to kind of make sure that I get it right where I want it. So I will do my selection again, and notice that I missed. With my selection, I missed the top line and the far right line, my selection box needs to completely enclose what I want to select. So there I've got that done. I need to transform again. So I'm going to choose my drop down arrow and choose transform. And I'll slide mine to the right a little bit. It kind of gets into the part, maybe a little bit more. I think I like that okay and I need to rotate a little bit more as well and notice my rotation is kind of jumping from spot to spot it it's either too high or too low so zero degrees is too low and two degrees is too high notice in my box it says 2.4 so I'm gonna make a guess and say 1.2 is the right amount. I don't know if it is or not, but um, I'm going to accept that that is. And notice now it's it's pretty close to lined up. It's a little too far to the top. Um, be honest, I think actually I'm going to accept that. That might be kind of cool. And so once that lettering is done, I can click the green check mark and I can choose the extrude command and I will say that I want to extrude this sketch by clicking on the sketch in my feature manager and of course the default is an inch and I'm going to change that to this 0.16 the number that I happen to like and I get a personal carabiner for Rob I can come back to this top plane and say hide all planes and I have a different carabiner that looks kind of cool. So there's lots of customization. Feel free to do that with your parts. And as soon as you do, when you come back to the basic Onshape homepage for your account, you'll see that you have um, your file here that you can open up at any time. And you, once you do, the latest version is all there and it all exists. So I hope this is helpful and I hope you're enjoying the ride. I will put together one more video to close these, these sessions out from College of Western Idaho. I hope you've enjoyed your time and always feel free to reach out to us for more information. Hope you're enjoying the ride here.